And how significant is this? Well, it's a new type of weapon that North Korea launched. It's a cruise missile. It's something that's powered throughout its flight. It kind of goes uh, low and slow. And it has a range of uh, 1,500 kilometers, according to North Korea. This means that it could hit all of South Korea and most parts of Japan. So this type of weapon, if it is what North Korea says it is, it just presents new challenges to South Korea, Japan, and the U.S. as they try to defend the airspace against something that North Korea could launch in the region. John, do we have any better idea of what the Biden administration's approach or strategy to North Korea is? Well, we're going to get a little bit of clarity in the next coming days. Uh, Biden's envoy for North Korea, Song Kim, is heading to Asia. He's due to have some talks tomorrow in Tokyo with his counterparts from South Korea and Japan. Uh, Biden's team has said that it's open for talks with North Korea, but so far Kim Jong-un has shown no interest. Um, Biden has also offered a bit of an incremental approach. He's uh, indicated that he's willing to trade disarmament for some aid that would help North Korea's economy. But North Korea has said that it's not ready to sit down at the table, and it doesn't look like it's going to be doing it anytime soon.